Hey up everyone and welcome back. So we finished the main story of the game. So yeah, we're gonna do the DLC, which is um Architunnel. I don't know how you pronounce it. So yeah, let's do it. Why is it saying what? So I have to use a slot for that. What? Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. And in politics, the Secretary General and other high-ranking UN administrators are on Luna for a security summit. We on await Earth. the official briefing later tonight. Deputy Undersecretary Christian Avasarala has been sequestered to an undisclosed Earth location for emergency government operations. Archangel is arriving. Stand by for resume post. Ma'am, if you need anything at all, you... <laughs> So this is the Secretary General's hideaway. Oh, it's her. Nishan, where the fuck are you? Good morning, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. How was your trip in? You mean my descent? I'm being guarded like a fucking war prisoner. What do you think? <laughs> was it another assassination plot? Could be any damn thing. With everyone on Luna for the summit, I am suddenly... The highest ranked official on the planet. Congratulations. Oh yeah, I remember on was it the first on the first episode? Um we heard her, didn't we? Bullshit, thank you. I don't know, let's go with thank you. Sure. It doesn't mean a shit. Why did you sound like that? At for? least it's a chance to annoy my enemies. She's just supposed to sell out on purpose? Where is your voice coming from anyway? Not from that. I don't see a comes link. <laughs> what in the flying fuck? Uh, apologies for the dramatic reveal. I know how you dislike me pinging your terminal all day. This seemed to be a workable solution. Uh, I also took the liberty of having security bring down some of your personal items. Jesus, how long do you think I'll be down here? All your life? <laughs> okay, messages. And Admiral Krusko has sent an urgent message about a situation near Juno. And Undersecretary Mendez is still hounding you about the reorganization plan. That's all? No, there's also a message from Callisto. Are you sure? Yes, it reached your receiver about 45 minutes ago. I've forwarded it to your hand terminal. Okay, go back to your dock. Let me get to work. Yes, let me work on my voice as well later. Let me just work on my voice. I just don't like this. Oh God, what the heck am I doing? Touch this. Okay, um... What? Oh, it's a puzzle, is it? How do I move? What? So if I... Uh, um, check hand terminal. I don't know what this is for, but... I'll sort it out. Um... Is that right? Buddy, hell, this seems to be a bit, um... Oh gosh, what the hell's going on here? I think I know what's... Oh, not enough Magoa puzzles. What the heck? I can't seem to... Oh, am I supposed to... Get all right, okay. That was easier than I thought. I leave this here until I know what it opens. Maybe I should talk like this. Um, right, you've done that. I've done that. I'll check that afterwards. Whatever's in you, I'll do that afterwards. Um, I might leave that like that. And terminal. What? It's been a long time since Charlotte called. Is that a 
child? Listen to message. Hi, Mom. It's me. They lifted the comms embargo, and I wanted to say, hey, haven't heard from you in a few days, and, well, I'm worried. You took the news about Marie badly. She's not what you think she is. She's not a terrorist. She's fighting for justice for ordinary people who were caught in the crossfire. I know you say I distract myself from what's important, but, well, this is important. She is, to me. Anyway, I love you, and I miss you. Keep me in your prayers. Talk soon. Stupid boy. This is no time for romance. What the hell? You can't say that. What's our mother, are you? Sweet child, the United Nations did not send you all the way across the solar system to get laid. We <laughs> love to hear from you. But I expect updates on your health and safety, not on your damn love life. Listen to me, because I won't say it again. Forget the girl. Get, oh, let's go forget the you girl. You must forget Marie, whoever the hell she is. You have a job to do, and your mind must be free from all distraction. Focus on your mission, and you will be back with us soon. Now, go. I'm sure there is something more important you should be doing. And be safe, my sweet boy. Make us proud. Okay, that's... Speaker of my son. Some fucking admiral and that Torb Mendes. And that's the agenda. Jesus Christ, she's swells about, doesn't she? Do I have to contact? What? Shall I contact? I don't, I don't, I don't have a clue what I'm doing, obviously, but... Christian. I hear you're working out of the bunker today. Is it as ostentatious as everyone says? Only thing missing is a chandelier. I hear you were looking for me. Ah, yes. Listen, your role as Undersecretary of Peace Operations is invaluable, of course. And yet? And yet, the Belter threat calls for greater scrutiny. It should be the work of a committee, one that I'm shocked has informed earlier. Anyway. The Security Council is planning a vote on the issue. What issue? The issue of whether to strip me off my powers and throw the belt into chaos? I know big changes can be challenging, especially when you've been in the UN for so long. But this is a move to protect our people. This is a mistake. This is a power play. Oh. Of course. But I can't help but wonder who will be in charge of this new committee. Well, that's for the Security Council to decide. My name has been put forward, but... Listen, maintaining peace in the belt is more than one person can accomplish. Everyone is finally acknowledging all the work you do. By taking my job? Oh, don't think of it that way. If you excuse me, I've got another call. Always a pleasure. Yeah, he sounded like a right twat. Uh, what's this? What? Back. View message. Under Secretary Avasarala, with Fleet Admiral Hold indisposed on Luna, we've been instructed to defer to you for matters of lawful jurisdiction. At 1800 hours, the MCRN battleship Ramses II entered Juno Moon Space. We have hailed the Ramses II three times, and we are now within our rights to seize the vessel. I've been ordered to seek your go-ahead on all matters in the belt, regardless of urgency or severity. Seeing as you are a civilian administrator, I urge you to trust your military officers to make the right decisions. I eagerly await your response, but I must warn you, if we do not receive orders soon, we will be forced to engage. Admiral Krusko, out. Civilian administrator, my ass. Brass prick. <laughs> this Cusco seems damn sure of himself. That makes me even less confident of his assessment. I better look into it myself before responding. Call and tell them check. In, okay, let's get up and let's... Let's do the um, 
Side stuck. What the? F oh, right, I didn't see the table. Oh my god, the music is a bit. Reminds me of him. Um, I don't know. Maybe a bit of um, Transformers. The battle. Once I finished my work, this would serve nicely for a wind down. So this is where our discretionary funds have gone. To feather an underground nest. Hmm. I should put up the reports on Juno and Ramses too. We'll do that after. I want to look for all this. Dear God, what a waste of water. Indeed, what a waste of water. If only everything was as straightforward as chess. In politics, the rules are always changing. Should we play a game? Yeah, let's play a game. No mm, playing against. Good morning, my love. You look absolutely ravishing. Hmm? It's true I cannot see you, but I've learned that it's safer to assume. If I was with you, I wouldn't be able to stop from sweeping you into my arms and carrying you away. But alas, I'm not. And we'll have to settle for your bishop. Your move, darling. Huh. My dear Arzum. Attack if I ask or attack. I don't have, have a you learned nothing? I'm always playing a different game than you expect. Ask your king what I mean. <laughs> I would much rather play a very different game. Sadly, I have been locked in a bunker by some idiot bureaucrats. But when I return home, you should block out your schedule. Okay. If only everything was as straightforward. All right, it's not saying anything else. In politics, the rules are always changing. I never thought I'd miss the real nation, but this little gadget creeps me out. Haha. <laughs> uh. I have something special for you to work on. Medicaid. Of course. What do you need? My son is in contact with a girl on Ganymede. Marie Esperon. Is she a UN official? A Martian diplomat? She's a Belter activist. Oh. I know the basics. Enough for me to wholeheartedly disapprove of her. But this girl could be using my son for his UN and access. Probably. Or trying to recruit him. I see. Secretary, I'll make the appropriate inquiries. Oh, yeah, what about um, these? Two? I'm going to need everything you have on Mendes. Frankly, he's a pretty open book. Son of diplomats, top of his class at the UNS, spotless record. I know his type. He may be young and shiny, but I have seen his kind before. Small dicks, big <laughs> ambitions. <laughs> Facing off against you. Then tell me about that shit eating admiral. I have his file here, but something is off. Gaps in command, sealed records. Well connected, he's oh. So Crusco has something to hide. Maybe something I could use as leverage if you won't take orders. Let me do some digging. It might be nothing. But it couldn't hurt. Medicare, Medicare. I may not be certain of a higher power, but sometimes it's nice to share all this shit with somebody else. <laughs> she smells a lot. She? Worse than me. So she's supposed to be a Hindu or something. Oh, bloody hell. I'm just guessing. Medicate. What a load of baloney. Shouldn't say that, but that's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's right. No, leave. Don't need to. Uh, anyway, whatever. Okay. 
window, and that's about you it. You can almost believe that you're not hundreds of oh. meters underground. Almost. The bobblehead himself. They really captured the insecure look in his eyes. Right, so what am I doing? I'm going over here, uh... God, this, this is, this seems, this, this DLC is so boring. As if Earth weren't big enough to worry about. Hmm. Zoom in. What? Yeah, feel free to pause us if you want, uh... Why not? If someone offers you a favor, it's best to take advantage. Mars. Okay, yep. Cloaking their military overreach in promises of protection. A classic Martian trick. Oh, yeah, they got marshals out there, Mars, yes, blah, blah, blah. Um. Earth, yep, back on Earth at last. So I'm guessing this DLC is set before the. Why not just ask for a pony in every household? Useless posturing. <laughs> um, what's what was saying now? Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Uh. Yeah, oh yeah, I think this DLC is probably is set before the actual game. If only meteors would silence some of the blowhards in the UN. <laughs> That's that bit. Bloody hell. Um, I'll go on the belt a bit afterwards. We keep pushing farther and farther out. God knows why. Yeah, I suppose. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, God knows why, I suppose. In a perfect world, everybody gets what they need. But the belt is far from perfect. Yeah, it's a good thing that um, this is set in like 23 blah blah blah. Anyway, um, Titan. Right, okay. I hope these fools realize that black markets are to be managed, not eliminated. Okay, whatever. And then, is there another one, or was that it? The belt, a.k.a. my never-ending headache. <laughs> Jesus Christ, more stuff. Right, okay. One can only imagine what we could have done with all that wasted Mormon money. Yeah, true. Uh, a known OPA terrorist meeting with Martian agents. This could be interesting. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so tired. Right. Ship data, blah, 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 yep. Hmm. Based on the velocity, the Ramses doesn't appear to be any immediate threat to Juno. All the more reason to keep assessing and avoid making a mistake, right? Right. Uh, and then... Martians are brash, but a move like this requires serious balls. I don't like it. Why would they enter a heavily guarded demilitarized zone with a single warship? It doesn't add up. No, it doesn't. Interesting. There have been no transmissions between the Martians and Juno and the Ramses too. So it's either a rogue ship or meant to look like one. Probably. All oh, right. Okay. Um. Oh, 
Okay, let's go back. Record message to Cr what's it called? Krauser? Cruiser? Did I not press it? Sitting at the Secretary General's desk. Once a dream. Now a goddamn headache. Yeah. Mentally. Right, I'm gonna do it with computer. Oh dickhead. Send reply. Admiral Cruzco. Cruzco, dickhead. Aggressive? No, we'll be different. The Jupiter fleet is under your command, and I have no intention of disputing your authority. However, I have reviewed the logs for the Ramses too, and I see no direct threat to Juno Station or the Jupiter fleet. Whatever the Martians are doing with that ship, it remains a mystery. One I intend to solve. Make a drink. Okay. I shall do that. Uh. I believe I've earned my drink now. If I'm ready for a break. Am course. I ready to unwind? Yeah, why not? I said pour a drink, so I'm pouring a drink. Don't care. You support. Oh, I think it's not. Mm. No, I won't, I won't get into it. I won't say what I'm going to say. Mars, Earth, the belt. Your own damn children. It's all too much to control. Exactly. Oh, shit. What now? Shit. Is that a game over? Right, okay, let's go. Is she hiding? Okay, we're stood there? Why? Is that where the panel is? Madam Deputy Undersecretary, I received a new update from the Director of Operations. Stand by. The time window for restoration of services has been extended indefinitely. Thank you. Does the Director of Operations happen to report to Undersecretary Mendez? Yes, D.O. Tanaka is a direct report. This is no accident. Mendez is trying to black me out of the vault. Forgive me, Madam Deputy, but isn't that a little paranoid? Oh. Just caution, he'll stop at nothing. His attempt to reorganize the Security Council would leave me powerless. He will stop at nothing to make it happen. Whatever's causing it, we won't get much done without power. You underestimate me, Nissan. My electrical engineering degree wasn't just for show. Okay, dokie word of this gets out, I'll have your testicles as paperweights. Understood, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. Mm -hmm. I learned a few things <laughs> besides networking at Kano Polytech. Let's hope I remember them. Um, oh, oh, shit, wrong way. Right. Is it down? Right. Oh. I'm just guessing. Uh, left? No, down? Is it down or left? No, it'll be down. Uh, left? Um, will that go connect? Left? Ah, 
Oh, okay. I don't understand that at all, but I managed to do it. Jesus Hey, everything's back to normal. Well done, Madam Under Secretary. What can I say? I live to impress you, Nissan. Huh. She's got a good she's got a good sense of humor though. We have power again, but it's limited. Any news from the outside world? The Security Council vote will proceed as planned, but you are scheduled to address the delegates first. The Ramses II is still off course near Juno, and the intervention window is closing. You've received another message from Admiral Kruzko, and you should be able to contact him again. That won't mean shit if I can't make him listen. Did you find any dirt on him? Afraid not. Of course, if the Secretary General weren't indisposed, he might share whatever unsealed files he might have. He's safe. I like this dark side of you, Nishan. <laughs> I learned from the best, Madam Undersecretary. Wait, look What's first. the point of sitting in for the Secretary General if I don't get to break into his safe? Need to find the key. Knowing the Secretary General, he's hidden somewhere that makes him feel clever. The key! Is that the key there, isn't it? That's what we unlocked. Play chess? I might do that first. I mean, I'll try and... Yeah. That light just appeared out of nowhere then, at the top of the safe. Go back to your base and face the wall. It's called plausible deniability for fuck's sake. Deniability of what? Uh -huh. Good draw. Exam? What? Okay. Oh, oh shit, wrong thing. Um Oh, it's his file, is it? What's this manager protocols? Ooh. It's almost optimistic to think we could fuck up this planet more than we already have. Yep. If we were wasting our time planning for alien contact, at least we are being honest about it. Yes. Um. Didn't go on this. Didn't, didn't press read for this. No. Couldn't I go left or right? No. That was a waste of time, wasn't it? Hmm. Right, I think what I might do is I might just leave it there for now. Uh, this DLC is so boring. Um. Uh, Probably one more part should do it. I don't know. I'm on two more parts. Who knows? But I'm going to go and I shall see you all in a bit. Bye.